what's going on youtube it's your boy thinker heist back in the building you feel me talk to me i'll talk back it depends on what we talking about i know it's been a while since i ran through with this format but uh it's a couple of topics i'm gonna run through so uh expect a couple of drops over the next uh few hours but uh yeah we about to um uh, we about to do a review a little overview of this uh this tory lane's the breakfast club interview I'm very happy that uh, Charlemagne wasn't there to be able to interrogate this man some more like another uh, assistant prosecutor. But uh, with all due respect, I got the video queued up. I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to play a little bit of it. And then thereafter, we're going to talk about what we're looking at. All right, here we go. Being unapologetically yourself. So I call it sorry for what? Now, recently... Uh... You got into an alleged altercation with an R&B artist, August Alcina. Look, man, I'm, like I said, I'm here to just answer about the album. We seen you know the video. I've <laughs> been putting his hand out, and you know. Well, you is there an open investigation with the LAPD? Because I saw they said they were looking into it. Again, couldn't tell you. Don't know, but you know, like I said, I'm here for the album and positivity. I know, you know, and don't get me wrong, I'm always here to answer all mm -hmm. the questions and stuff, but. I'm really just here just preaching positivity today, like, you know what I'm saying? Everything that's been going on in my life and the things that's been going on around me, I just try to keep positive, you know? So, no disrespect, but I'm just not here to talk about. Just one last man. question. Now, we seen that <laughs> you walked by each other and, and he put his hand out. Did y'all, did you ever knew that y'all had a problem? Because I'm, I'm sure if y'all, if you knew there was a disagreement, you wouldn't put your hand out. No, I, I mean, just generally speaking, regardless, I, I don't have a problem with anybody. And I wrote for him before this, this we, you know, it's not... It's not one of those. Oh, so you pinned stuff for for his projects and for stuff sure. like that. Well, for um, Meek and uh, August, the record they did, I did that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's probably why, because I guess he had an issue with the freestyle that you did talking about the situation. Again, and sometimes I, I like I like I like how we're doing this, but like I said, I'm here to talk about the album. I like where you guys you, are going. Let me ask you it's great. Yo, so DJ Envy is upset for whatever reason because Tory Lanez. Daystar Peterson has some type of media training up under his belt now. You can't use the Vlad tactic to ask me an incriminating question and then think that I'm going to be dumb enough to answer it the way that you want me to answer it. No, buddy. It is a question. I must answer this question as reasonably and as, as, as respectful as I possibly can. The angle as to which they coming at it is kind of like the Breakfast Club is low key asking this man to in give incriminating evidence upon himself. Let's say, for instance, that type of situation with August Alcina and Tory Lanez really did take place. Let's say that man did assault him. But let's say August Alcina was respectful enough to keep it out of the court system, knowing what's going on with Tory Lanez and every law or deal behind his name. So if they were able to, behind closed doors, be able to negotiate some type of contract that doesn't allow for the video to come out and he doesn't make any more public statements past what he posted on social media, regardless of whether or not Los Angeles County is investigating this as a true case or not, do you not think that Los Angeles has way more problems than a, a nigga getting beat up? Like, come on, bruh. Like, we talking about P&B Rock just got killed less than two weeks ago. Uh, Quando Rondo's man Lil Pop got shot three weeks ago. Are we really going to work against ourselves as a black community, as head anchors of a, a highly syndicated radio broadcast show? Like, come on, bro. Like, when I, when I used to do music, I actually thought that I wanted to be an artist that would eventually go to the Breakfast Club, have one of these nice little ha-ha, hee-hee interviews. But at the end of the day, I know and I understand that I'm here for promoting what my project is. As much as Tory Lane said, yo, I came to talk about positivity. I want to talk about the album. That's all I got time for. On the back end, all they find a way to do is find a different way to ask the same question. It's a Vlad tactic. Like, I do recall back in the day when Vlad used to ask people a particular question, people would be like, oh, no, nah, I'm not willing to answer that question. And then Vlad will be like, oh, well, uh, in this interview with this other person, you said this. Like, bruh, you're going around 
the you're beating around the bush to still grab the same fruits my man y'all don't own clear channel clear channel is its own broadcasting network um um you guys are iheart media pardon me that's not even yeah it is clear channel clear channel iheart media yeah it's all the same little conglomerate man so let me get this straight because whoever that person at the top of iheart media is asking for you guys to get the most raciest topic possible it don't matter ain't no level of accountability for what the ripple down effect is of asking somebody some incriminating evidence let's say for real for real tory lanes honestly answers the question that you want him to answer the way that you ask it he answers it let's say he does that and then let's say two or three weeks later this man gets an indictment for an assault for august alcina for something they don't even have true proof for okay you guys get to talk about the news even more. I'm a 97 subscriber type of nigga on YouTube, but y'all giving me content to talk about right now. So obviously in two weeks or three weeks after Tory Lanez gets arrested for this little ordeal that y'all entrapped him into, all y'all gonna have is more money to talk about another black person that got arrested for his stupidity. But you guys entrapped and coerced this man into not being able to stand on what the fifth amendment was i can guarantee if donald trump was there y'all gonna ask him hey what about this indictment what about this indictment and the moment that that man say hey we don't want to talk about that indictment y'all gonna shut the fuck up and y'all not gonna talk about it it's kind of like when Leor Cohen came up there and y'all asked him about the accountability of signing rappers who are doing drugs and doing crimes well, I got to feed my family. Y'all ain't continue to interrogate then. Y'all know y'all know the power of Mr. Cohen, so don't try to play the game. Y'all look at Tory Lanez and try to undermine him as an artist based on, oh, he's only an artist. There are a million artists in the industry. We don't need Tory Lanez. The fact of the matter is, you black, you black, or you claim to be black, and you claim to be a Dominican black. So by all means, buddies, can we just like put this thing together? Because I guarantee if y'all own Clear Channel or iHeartMedia or uh, The Breakfast Club as a stamp, I am certain y'all not trying to get y'all people that look just like y'all arrested. So, uh, yeah, we going to go through uh, maybe about, I don't know, maybe about. 30 more seconds of this joint and I'm gonna be up out of here because this only further proves my point as to what type of angle they on like this man Tory Lanez really came with peace and positivity and they still found a way to try to like reel him in so it's somewhere about this point I'm gonna play it from here and then I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna talk for a couple more seconds and I'm gonna slide out to the honeycomb hideout y'all spoken artist but I'm not allowed to do certain things. Certain things correlate to this and that, and then people that don't need to be looking into this start looking into that and this, and, and then it turns into something, mm -hmm. you know? But again, like, it's not that, that Tory Lanez has gotten more aggressive, it's that the narrative has gotten more aggressive since other narratives have been aggressive about me, and it's like, let's just pile these on while he can't talk. I see you still got that Playboy earring on, so let me ask you I'm this. I'm still a Playboy, baby. Exactly. <laughs> if you have a song on the album, right where it's called this ain't working and i'm like does tory lanes want to settle down and get married and have a bride but then you have other songs where you're like you seen uh, a picture with some people out and about too <laughs> but then you have other songs where you're you know just being a, a guy running around doing him and uh, uh, fucking her and her friends and everybody else so yeah. what does tory lanes yeah, i'm 30 really years want? old like can i not can, can, can i not <laughs> but i'm just saying you know all right so notice how dj envy says damn yeezy so obviously they working for the same team to try to get these questions answered but the funny thing is they playing good cop bad cop in this particular situation it's obvious that the narrative is that meg the stallion slept with tory lanes and a friend that's from the accountability of Tory Lanez himself. He tried to say that he hit her and her friend. So it's a reference. He alluded, but he never exactly said Meg the Stallion. But it's obvious who she's referring to. So 
she goes on to ask him about the Playboy earring. And mind you, the Playboy album is the first album I'm pretty sure that he dropped directly after the shooting. Like that was the one where uh, it had Cleo, Cleo on that joint. And all, uh, uh, he, he was talking a lot about what happened that weekend at um, uh, uh, Kylie Jenner's house or whatever. So throughout that, they trying to pick apart his lyrics no different than I said a minute ago, where it's like Vlad will use, hey, well, you were on this interview platform and you said these things when they asked you this question. So it's kind of like, oh, OK, you were in the studio. You made some songs. You were talking about how you slept with this woman and that woman. Uh, What you got going on? They're alluding to the Meg Thee Stallion situation. So it's just so crazy. I actually didn't even complete the full interview. I still got 20 minutes left. And because I got 20 minutes left on that joint, I'm going to just close this out right now. I'm going to finish the interview. I'm pretty sure when the interview is done, they not going to hold themselves accountable. Like, damn, we almost we asked some interrogating questions and could have potentially got Tory Lanez arrested. I'm certain they're not going to do that. But I'll finish the interview Man, check me out, man. Like, share and subscribe. You dig. I'm out this bad baby.